22nd July every year is observed as the World Brain Day. This day is dedicated to raising awareness about brain health. The theme of this year's World Brain Day is Stop Multiple Sclerosis, aiming to promote opportunities to highlight the urgent need for early diagnosis and advocate for access to healthcare, education and research and most importantly access to effective treatment that can substantially reduce disability. Here is the director of NIMHANS, Dr. Pratima Murthy, shedding light on multiple sclerosis and a brief introduction to the services available at NIMHANS. A multiple sclerosis is one of the most common neurological disorders resulting in disability among young adults, usually in those aged below 40 years. Multiple sclerosis affects the brain, the spinal cord and the optic nerves, leading to a whole spectrum of symptoms and depending on the site of involvement. The disease progression is chronic, often requiring long-term management. Given the nature of the illness and the potential complications, the impact on the individual and the family due to multiple sclerosis is tremendous. With the accurate and early diagnosis and the correct management, disease modification is possible. With better understanding of the disease and newer treatment strategies, people with multiple sclerosis today have a chance for a disability-free life with improved productivity and a better quality of life. The first signs of multiple sclerosis may often go unrecognized or underrecognized, and this might lead to delay in accessing the correct treatment. There is a need to know when and where to seek help. The National Institute of Mental Health and Neurosciences has been in the forefront of the fight against all diseases that undermine brain and mind health and in providing state-of-the-art affordable care for the treatment of diseases to people from all strata of society. Multiple sclerosis management requires multidisciplinary care and we bring together experts from various fields who are committed towards contributing to the care and well-being of our patients with multiple sclerosis. July 22nd is the World Brain Day and this year's theme is multiple sclerosis, thus drawing our attention to this devastating and debilitating disorder that can have actually a potentially good outcome with the right diagnosis and treatment. We join together with the World Federation of Neurology in highlighting the need for public awareness, paying attention to the invisible symptoms of multiple sclerosis that will require care from different disciplines and to form connections and synergies that will provide a safety net for the affected individuals and their families to make sure that multiple sclerosis has a better outcome than before. Thank you. The Department of Neurology plays an important role in the diagnosis and effective management of multiple sclerosis. Our faculty would like to briefly explain about multiple sclerosis, identification and steps of management of multiple sclerosis followed at NIMHANS. Dear friends, the theme for this year's World Brain Disease is Stop Multiple Sclerosis. It is imperative to make an early diagnosis so that we are able to prevent recurrent episodes as well as reduce the long-term disability of multiple sclerosis. To achieve this, it is important to know the common symptoms of multiple sclerosis such as visual disturbances, tingling, numbness, paresthesias, weakness or stiffness of the limbs, imbalance while walking, urinary symptoms, memory disturbances, alteration in speech and swallowing, fatigue and depression. Initially, the symptoms may be very temporary and fleeting. Do not ignore any of the symptoms and do consult your primary care physician or a neurologist to make a proper evaluation and diagnosis 
so that you will be able to receive the appropriate treatment at the right time. A senior professors would like to bring into light the need for early diagnosis and treatment to keep multiple sclerosis at bay. Uh, this time, uh, the World Brain Day is on uh, stopping the progression of multiple sclerosis. We observed the World Brain Day for the last uh, eight years, and this is the eighth year. And this time, the theme is to stop multiple sclerosis. You are not alone, we are all with you. Cognitive decline is recognized as a prevalent and debilitating symptom of multiple sclerosis especially deficits in episodic memory and processing speed. Let's know more about the importance of cognition in multiple sclerosis. I'm Dr. Suvarna Aladi. I'm a cognitive and behavioral neurologist at the National Institute of Mental Health and Neurosciences, Bangalore. On World Brain Day today, as we talk about stopping multiple sclerosis, and put all efforts together to help people with this very disabling disease, it's also important to realize that in addition to problems with movement or speech or vision that people with multiple sclerosis have, they can also have problems with cognition. But the good news is that like other symptoms of multiple sclerosis, early recognition and treatment with the right kind of medication can prevent progression of the disease. Though statistically, multiple sclerosis affects people between the second and fourth decades of life, it may also affect the children. This year's World Brain Day theme is multiple sclerosis, that is stop multiple sclerosis. Even though multiple sclerosis commonly affects people between the age 20 and 40 years, it is known to occur in children also. And when the disease affects children less than 18 years of age, it is called pediatric multiple sclerosis. Though children have more relapses compared to adults, they recover better than adults and uh, disability accrual is at a much slower rate. So if children have any symptoms suggestive of multiple sclerosis, please contact your pediatrician or neurologist for prompt treatment because there are safe, good treatment options for children also. Explaining to us about other disorders that mimic multiple sclerosis and complications associated with it. I think neuromyelitis optica is a disease characterized by uh, weakness of the limbs and visual impairment which may come in combination or in combined but sometimes some of the atypical presentations can be seen in these diseases like supposing somebody has a persistent vomiting which is not explained by other common conditions like gastritis and other problems and very rarely hiccups we have uncontrollable hiccups then also this may be a manifestation don't think that all these things are due to NMO only but make sure that when you have these persistent symptoms, you visit a doctor. Providing hope and scopes for treatment of multiple sclerosis are Multiple sclerosis, as you know, is a chronic disease that affects the central nervous system and causes a wide range of symptoms that can affect any part of the body. As the disease can be debilitating, early diagnosis and treatment is very important in order to prevent or reduce the disability and improve the quality of life in these patients. This National Brain Day, let us know more about multiple sclerosis because better knowledge will lead to better awareness and early recognition of the symptoms of multiple sclerosis, better treatment and help to delay the progression of multiple sclerosis. Because knowledge is power. Uh, as you may be aware, uh, every year on July 22nd, uh, uh, it is observed as a World Brain Day and uh, each year there will be a different theme. Uh, we are delighted that this year uh, the theme is on multiple sclerosis uh, with the theme being stop multiple sclerosis. So although at present there is no cure but there are many life saving, life changing, safer and effective therapies that are available. Assisting the faculty in treating persons with multiple sclerosis are the young, vibrant senior residents. The theme of this year's World Brain Day is uh, stop multiple sclerosis. Multiple sclerosis is an inflammatory disease of the uh, central nervous system which has protein manifestation ranging from cognitive decline to uh, physical disability. The multiple sclerosis team in NIMHANS believes in the holistic treatment of multiple sclerosis and therefore involves a multidisciplinary team for the same. Here we have a glance at the messages from different specialties involved. 
Your neurologist is the first to be consulted in view of symptoms of multiple sclerosis. The neurologist plays a key role in diagnosing and bringing together the multidisciplinary team for treatment of people with multiple sclerosis. Namaste. I am Dr. Neetravati, Additional Professor of Neurology at the National Institute of Mental Health and Neurosciences, Nimans, Bengaluru. Multiple sclerosis is a neurological condition affecting the young, especially females. What I would want to emphasize to the MS warrior is that it is most easy to control MS in the initial stages when it is called as a relapsing form. During that time, most of them respond to the medications and we should try to see that they take medications regularly so that they do not progress, go to the progressive form. So early, correct, continued treatment is a must for an MS warrior. The last two years theme for multiple sclerosis has been connections and stop MS. And I think that these two words are very important for an MS warrior. Connections and stop MS. How to stop or control MS? Connect with your family, connect with your work, connect with your dreams, connect with your passion. Connect with your doctor, your therapist, so that you realize that we are all with you to make a better MS warrior. Radiology forms an important part in the diagnosis, prognosis and effective management of multiple sclerosis. Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Maya Bhatt and I am a neuroradiologist. When patients of suspected multiple sclerosis or known case of multiple sclerosis are referred for imaging, we uh, see to it that the MRI scan is performed using appropriate protocols. This helps in the diagnosis of the disease and follow-up of patients. Thank you. Highlighting the role of mental health in multiple sclerosis is Mental health is a very important component of overall health. In individuals who experience uh, uh, multiple sclerosis, they can have variety of uh, uh, mental health problems. They can experience variety of mental health problems including a normal sadness on receiving diagnosis to conditions like depression and anxiety. The depression and anxiety could be a manifestation of uh, a multiple sclerosis itself or it could be part as a psychological reaction of receiving a diagnosis of multiple sclerosis. Most common symptoms of depression include feeling sad, crying spells, uh, difficulty in uh, sleeping, feeling very tired which might be also be a part of multiple sclerosis. Most common symptoms of anxiety include feeling restless and not able to relax, difficulty in concentrating and excessive worries about day-to-day -day activities. It is very important to identify and recognize the mental health problems in persons with multiple sclerosis as these problems can impair the quality of life of the individuals as well as impact their functioning. Care happens within families and persons with multiple sclerosis need to be motivated time to time and there lies the importance of a psychiatric social worker helping them to adapt to the changing needs. Hello, I am Dr. Priya, Associate Professor of Psychiatric Social Work in Neurology. As we speak more about multiple sclerosis and its care, as we all know, families become very important. As we have been discussing so far, the neurological, neuropsychiatric and psychological difficulties are predominant and often the families and friends who are interwoven with the lives of our patients with multiple sclerosis who are often in their active years of their life. As we work with these families, the message that we want to tell all of you is that to give MS no more space in your families than it has to be given and seek help as and when you go forward in coping and seeking help. Connect with your friends, family and colleagues to build a better future for multiple sclerosis. Psychological involvement, especially in neurocognition, can be markedly seen in multiple sclerosis. Worldwide research studies show that nearly 65% of uh, patients who suffer from multiple sclerosis also experience wide range of neurocognitive deficits. 
such as uh, deficits in complex attention, information processing, memory, or uh, higher executive functions. A recent study that we carried out actually shows uh, the findings. We have found significant deficits they have in information processing and also in working memory. And also interestingly as unique findings of the study, we have found that these patients have high levels of trait anxiety and mild levels of depression. So in addition to these neurocognitive deficits, addressing these via neuropsychological rehabilitation such as cognitive rehabilitation and other psychological interventions are known to play a key role. Rehabilitation plays a major role in the optimal functioning of persons with multiple sclerosis. Good afternoon, I am Dr. Anupam Gupta, I am Professor and Head, Department of Neurological Rehabilitation in Immense. Rehabilitation plays a very important role in multiple sclerosis. Management could be a conventional rehabilitation program or it has to be say patients who are having long term locomotion issues, ambulation issues which cannot be addressed with uh, conservative management probably would go for the robotic exoskeletal or other type of uh, gait rehabilitation strategies. Uh, patients especially who are having spinal cord uh, lesions would have bladder bowel issues and bladder has to be addressed by doing urodynamic study and bladder management has to be decided based on the urodynamic study findings. Yoga and Ayurveda are evolving especially in the management of stress to prevent relapse in persons with multiple sclerosis. Namaste and greetings on the occasion of the World Brain Day 2021. I am Dr. Shivram here representing the Department of Integrative Medicine and these are my colleagues Dr. Kishore, a professor of Ayurveda and Dr. Hemant Bhargav, a student professor of yoga and on the occasion of this day where the theme is multiple sclerosis, I wish to remind everybody that other than conventional treatment options for multiple sclerosis, we also have Ayurveda and yoga options at Nimhans and these have contributed significantly in improvement in both symptoms and overall prognosis of the disease. Thank you. Nursing forms the backbone in managing patients with multiple sclerosis. We are frequently taking care of the multiple sclerosis patient and uh, many patients uh, their prognosis was good and uh, uh, during that follow up care also uh, they are improved so much and we are uh, happy to tell about uh, their uh, rehabilitative process as well as uh, their follow up. Family, my most important thing is family to be educated. Last but not the least. Mental health education helps by raising awareness about the disorder and importance of early intervention among people, which remain a priority to prevent multiple sclerosis and to get a better prognosis. People with chronic conditions like multiple sclerosis are faced with multiple challenges. Public education programs with special focus on persons suffering with multiple sclerosis have been considered as a significant approach to support people with sound knowledge, address the treatment gaps and increase the literacy levels among the public, patients and their caregivers. We at the Department of Mental Health Education actively partner with the multidisciplinary team at NIMHANS offering specialized care in MS in increasing the knowledge among patients and caregivers who attend the NIMHANS OPD and in communities so that one is aware that help is available.